Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. That channel is Deb Chanel's 48th World. Thank you for coming. Thank you for giving me your support, your energy, and your love. But I still need y'all to try to get me to that 10,000. I know it seems like it's a ways to go. Before you know it, we'll be there. Continue to subscribe to my channel. Uh, and definitely come and watch my videos. Share them, if you will. And like them, okay? But this is a must-see video, y'all. We got Nene Leaks fun. Baby mama, I don't know how many girls acting a fool out here on social media and think Nene's supposed to pay her any mind, any attention. Now I'm going to pour this coffee for you. So you just come on in, get your cups ready, and let's sip on this coffee, okay? Because I just don't understand it. I really don't. I'm like, you should be sitting there having a conversation with Nene's son, not trying to get Nene's attention, because if I was Nene and I was in that predicament, I wouldn't pay you no mind, okay? Now, if I really wanted to know if that was my grandchild that my allegedly son had fathered with you, I'm going to go and talk to your mama to see if we can get a DNA test done, if your mama willing to talk. Because I can't talk to you because I probably want to put my hands on you. Like I, like if I was your mama for out here trying to get my attention through social media. When you could have just called, sent me an email or sent me a, a letter to my address. Because if you date my son, you know my son know my address. So you could have sent me a letter, okay? Or you could have just showed up at the gate. And wait until I come out and approach me like a woman would approach another woman, okay? But you didn't do all this. You sat here and just ran your mouth to the press, and now you think I'm supposed to give you an ounce of my time? I think not. But anyway, let's go on into this article. But we don't want to tarry too long on this subject, especially when it's talking about somebody else's child. But I got to come to Nene's defense. She don't have to answer this lady. She showed out because she did wrong. She went into the media. And even like I said, if she really wanted to get a hold of Nene, if Nene was tracking her down, then just send a welfare check. Okay, call the police. I need to check on my uh baby's grandmama because she act like she don't need to be coming seeing her grandchild. So we need to figure something out here. You know, I get my attorney and we sit and talk. But like I said, that ain't got nothing to do with Nene. That's Nene's son. So let's get on into this article. Of course, it comes from All About the Tea. Go on over there and check them out. They seem to be reputable. All right. And the author is Abigail Land something. Landry New. But she's an uh, author over there at All About, the Tea, All About the Tea, and she's giving us a salacious story, all right? But I'm like, Nene, dust your so shoulders off, honey. How, what is my name? Uh, Jay-Z. Go on and dust your shoulders off, honey, because this lady ain't talking about nothing. This young girl ain't talking about nothing. She's making herself look like a fool, if anything, out there on them social media streets. But the title that uh, Abigail gave us, for the article she read for All About the Tea, Nene Leake's son, Bryson, which is her oldest son, dragged by baby mama over a neglected child. His cocaine use put on blast. Now, see, that's another thing. If he is sitting there and not paying attention to the child, not providing for the child, then let that be enough. Handle him through the court system, okay? But to say he's using or not using drugs... And you don't know that for a fact. Have you showed us proof? Because he don't need to be by you or your son if that is uh, if that is in fact the case of the matter. But anyway, we go on into this story. It says Nene Leak's son, alleged baby mama, some is putting their family business on blast. Once again, it means she's done it more than one time. Bryson's Bryant's baby mama claims that Nene Leak's son is a deadbeat dad. Who refuses to financially support their son, Blaze, Kaya Davis, and a broke drug addict. So see, she tried to uh, throw shade on him two times, all right? He ain't no good is what he tried. she trying to tell the public. Then he ain't taking care of his son, which she's calling him a deadbeat dad. Then she's turning around and saying, and I'm going to throw out his substance abuse use out there too. He's a broke addict. I'm like, okay. Three strikes, you're out, baby girl. So why are you with him? We know Nene 
brought him into the world, but she definitely tried to do her best. And I'm sure she did her best trying to raise Bryson in the way she wanted him to go, you know, put him on a straight path. But like I said, some of these kids can't handle the stardom. Their parents are surrounded by all the life, living like, uh, uh, glamour and glitz and, and fame and fortune. And they get uh, thrown into the mix and they get to be like on another level that they weren't accustomed to. And then they can't handle it. They break in with the wrong folks. The other folks try to show them how to live, how to roll in the big life, the uh, flashy kind of Hollywood entertainment life, and you get caught up. Some people uh, don't let it scratch them at all. They come out smelling like a whistle and shining like a new penny. And then some get strung out, thrown out, and TKO out for the count if you get my drift, okay? But uh, like I said, she's just going, giving us all this negativity on Nene's son. And I'm with Nene. Uh, should you be taking that up with the daddy? Daddy got nothing to do with me. I raised him. I got him out, you know, up to where he was, considered a grown man. After 24, in my eyes, yeah, you're supposed to be doing the right thing. I taught you right, so do right. That ain't got nothing to do with me if he done laid it, laid it low and spread it wide with you and other women out there. And you ain't take precautions. I feel Nene, if that's her thoughts, okay? Uh, going back to the article, it said uh, Simone Davis, 22, took to Instagram this week to post a photo of Bryson. Bryson was all sprung out on the couch like he was, you know, at his home. And he shouldn't have been violated that way. And having someone take a photo of him when he's not coherent or uh, awake. And she's just got him sprawled all on her couch and... um. You know, taking photos of him without his permission. I'm like, hell, he could have just been asleep, you know, tired or whatever. He, that's not saying he's intoxicated or he's uh, under the influence of anything. But she tried to make it seem like that's exactly what it was. He was a no good dad. But let's go on in here. I guess a no good man, but she's still messing with him. So what does that make her? Mm, interesting, huh? But it says uh, Simone Davis 28 took to Instagram this week to post a photo of Bryson 30 asleep on her couch along with a blistering caption. Let me tell y'all something about this bucket head itch that laid out on my old couch. She begins her post and, you know, shows uh, different pictures of her. And she continues by saying he want to make amends with me and be cool as y'all seen throughout this year, but still continue to do dumb ish. I don't care about what he does as long as he take care of our son. Anywho, he goes on to tell me he wants to do TV with me because he knows my personality and attitude will make good TV. Plus, he wants to look like a bum getting out of a Lamborghini. Well, itch, you got the bum part down to a T. And I'm like, why would he want to be with a woman that's constantly putting him down? Okay. But that's neither here nor there. This is how this woman get down. She's saying it's an old couch, but it seems like it's a pretty good couch to me. You know what I'm saying? But go on over to her Instagram page. And I'm sure she will let you see many, many things. Uh, she have probably also put on her site on Nene's uh, son. Okay. Um, it goes on to say, Simone goes into a discussion about Bryson's alleged drug use and neglect of the couple's two-year-old son, Blaze. Now, my deal is, if he's a drug addict and all this, and he's no good, why would you want him around your son? Even though he is the paternal father, okay, I get that, but if he ain't doing nothing, and he seems to have somewhat of an addiction, and he's not on an even keel, no, a lawyer, a judge, they're not going to give him no parental rights to be around their child when we don't know how he can act with being under influence, okay? But going back to the article, it says, then I get messages from all types of itches saying they seen him doing cocaine and in motel, so I'm saying not numb to do anything with him. Now, here we are, another year, and Blaze's birthday comes. He told everyone he was coming to Blaze's party. Did he show? Nope. Did he call to tell BK happy birthday? Nope. But days later, called me, asked me when am I ovulated so we can have another child the mf ain't brought a sock a diaper a pull-up a bottle happy meal nothing for blaze yet he's always asking for money or to order him a pizza because he's hungry she wrote now i'm like that how does that make you look uh miss simone you're saying all these things he's not doing haven't done but yet you're still with him so what does that make you 
is, are you considered an enabler of his cause? Because most women, they got something going on for themselves. They would have been cut him. Cut him down like a bad habit that they got away from, okay? He'll be asking his mama, Nene Leakes, to help him in court proceedings to help him get visitation rights. That's what he'll be fussing about because he wouldn't see the son. The daughter or anybody else, you done laid it low and spread it wide for him to get into you and produce a child. Girl, please have some respect about yourself. Seems to me like you're trying to get on the old come up. But guess what? Nene paying you does. You with one of her uh, sons that evidently she done kind of tossed in her hands away off of him. Let him go on and do his thing. But she don't want no harm or hurt to come to him. And I'm sure she helps him out from time to time. But he's a grown man. He got to learn how to fend for himself, okay? It's not like he had uh, no good mother to show him the way or whatnot, especially when she got into the entertainment business and she could put, she could afford a better living situation. And of course, he should have had some knowledge or forethought to help himself, okay? But, hey, that's just how things happen in today's society when you get with the wrong folks. All right, and they uh, uh, put you into things that you weren't ready for from the get go. Uh, kind of a sink or swim type of mentality, and we see that he sunk down to the very lowest, and he needs help. Maybe an intervention needs to be started for him. I don't know, because you got to want to help yourself before anybody else can assist you with helping you out of your mess. All right. But anyway, going back to the article, it says this disgruntled interior designer pulls Bryce's famous mom, Real Housewives of Atlanta, Nene Leakes, into the drama. He won't get a penny from me, Lenithia Johnson Leakes. Um, please get your, please get your overgrown son, although he's living with his dad. I know and understand why Nene would not allow him to live with her, nor be on the Housewives of Atlanta. 30 years old and a bomb. There's so much more. Sorry, but I'm done trying to help his ass, okay? In the voice of the cast, the door is closed, okay? She's trying to get that little line or that little lingo from Nene Lee. We can't say that's her mother-in-law because she ain't married. She's like probably the side chick, okay? Because we know Nene does have a good relationship with one of Bryce, Bryson's uh female friends, okay, because she shows the little girl all, well, not all the time, because she got some coop about herself, not putting everybody on blast on social media, so I understand that, we see her when we see her, all right, but Nene is paying very close attention to that young lady and the daughter that she brought into the world by her oldest son, Bryson, but anybody like Simone Davis want to put Nene on blast like that? Of course, I will pay her no mind either, okay? But anyway, Simone Davis goes on to claim that she's had a fling with Bryson that produced a baby boy. The little boy is two years old, and according to the mom, the Real Housewives of Atlanta's grandmother won't acknowledge her alleged grandson. Well, why would she acknowledge? You already said you had a fling with her older son, but guess what? We don't know. You could have planted it. You could have, you know, took some of his sperm and, you know, turker basted it and put it up. You, We don't know, okay? We only going about what you're saying, and you putting folks out on blast. I don't know. I would have to take the grandson and get some DNA from his hair, and then we go from there, okay? But then if I had to put it with you and how you put people on blast, I don't know if it's worth it. <laughs> I just don't know, is it worth it, child? Anyway, um, it just goes on and on and on. And, and, and the Simone Davis, she ended up posting her son that she has with Bryson. And, you know, he's a very handsome little boy. Kind of remind me of Ace, uh, Candy Burr's son. Got the same features. I don't know why he got earrings in his ear, but, you know, that's how y'all get down. And this new millennial type age thing, y'all just grow your children up just too fast, okay? But he's a cute little something. Uh, and Simone goes on with still ramp rage, talking about Nene need to humble herself. She didn't come from money, and now that she has some, she's so full of herself. I would love for her to have a relationship with her grandson, but I think it's past that. She means that she's not happy. Nene Lee does probably claim Bryson's Bryant's or other children. So, see, the girl that he was with probably trying to make a life with, but she just pumped the brakes on anything to do with solidifying a long-term relationship with Nene's son because he ain't been faithful. 
He going around here messing with her, her, and her. Okay? And then thinking she, he going to come back to the main chick, the main one that's staying out social media. And I'm pretty sure Nene taking care of that grandchild or children because they're doing it the right way. You know, Nene's life is in the public eye, not her family members. Okay? But don't nobody, especially this Simone Davis, out here trying to get clout and fame, trying to cop her own little show. You know, that's not going to catch Nene's eye. That's going to make her run and push down a pedal leave a little bit more hard so she can speed away from your behind. But that's all I had to um, put out on this little story, this mess of a story. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Are y'all down for the young lady who had a flame with Nene's uh, oldest son and she wants Nene to respect her and get to know her grandson? Or do Nene have a right to say, girl, bye, go on with your bad self, okay? Don't continue to raise your son. Allegedly, you say my grandson, but since you're not doing anything the proper way, I don't want to know either one of you, okay? Is that right to say? Y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought, because I thought this was a funny-ass story. And how somebody as young as her going to think she's going to come from, to somebody as seasoned as Nene and think she's going to get an iota of an answer from her. Especially on social media. Are you kidding me? But that's the video. I'll see y'all next video. Take care and remember to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Tell people about me, share my videos, and like my videos. But again, you know, I like it when you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Trying to get to that 10,000 before June of next year or in June. All right. Peace and blessings. Good night.